this is my home, this is my only home, and if this were to be taken away from me, I wouldn't have anything else. I literally can't think of anything that would be better. Born and raised on the North Shore, up in Pupukea. It's 10 minutes from the ocean. My earliest memory of surfing is at Haliva Elite Beach, and I would always go down to the beach with my dad and my brother, but he would never force me to surf, never tried to make me surf. I basically took it up on my own when I was ready. Tonight, we didn't have to do a little thing that I've cooked up for you. Warm up. All you have to do is bend your knees a little. Shake your shoulders. And go for what you know. When I became a mother, I think the biggest thing I learned was to be present and humble. <laughs> Growing up in Hawaii, I've always been pretty aware of nature and the things I like to eat and trying to live a healthy lifestyle. And what that means for me is trying to grow a lot of my own food. And it is a little trickier since having a, a baby, you know, but being able to teach her, like, this is where food comes from. It comes from the soil. And then taking it into the kitchen and preparing our own meals, juicing our own citrus to make juice. You do it like that. Okay. And then where do you put them after? Right here. Probably the most important thing was sharing the ocean with her. Every day, try to somehow get in the water and just play and smile and just share the joys in what the ocean has to offer. I like to surf bigger waves purely just for myself, just to be able to test my own courage and to really heighten my awareness of the ocean doing my best to let my inner expression reveal itself through the way that I ride a wave. Well, we chose to live here because my husband was surfing in the contest and we were both ocean people. We swim, surf, snorkel, paddle, canoe. You know, it just kind of happened that this is my dream. And you just kind of picked away at it slowly. All of a sudden, poof, you're living your dream. Explore different options until you find your passion. And then when you find it, you know, you just set your goals and pick away at them. I always 
try to make things that I do fun, I find that that's when you do your best. When I surf, all it takes is like one good wave to make my day. Raising my children with a deep-rooted sense of Hawaiian culture was a huge goal for me. We hold it, and we're just gonna go down the bottom. Yeah, there we go. The ocean has always been where we teach our children most of all their life lessons. But the biggest lesson I think that we teach her is that this is a gift. The whole environment that we're in is a gift. The canoe is a gift. The ability to do it is a gift, so I think for us it's the gratitude towards being able to do it is what I want to teach her. And I think being in the ocean and naming the fish in Hawaiian and naming the tides in Hawaiian and the moon phases in Hawaiian is also a way of just perpetuating that Hawaiian culture through the ocean and being outside. My full name is Luhia Leleo Babe Bloomfield Kane. Luhia means the protection of the Kahilis, and Leleo is a family name, and Babe is my grandmother's name, and Bloomfield is my mom's maiden name, and Kane is my dad's last name. It's awesome. I love being in the water. It's Probably the best feeling ever, and I just love surfing. It's really fun. the ocean. If I don't get in the ocean, I miss it immediately and the second I catch a wave, like everything gets better and I get happy again. Mm -hmm.